So there's always a caveat. Now you see the height of this binding? Like we ski a lot of these test skis on lifted bindings. So a little caveat, when we talk about skiing wide skis on groomers, and you hear us talk about this a lot because, well, we like skiing at the Quay and grooming's always awesome. So, you know, rather than wreck skis, sometimes we'll just test skis on groomers because really what's the use in testing skis and damaging them and skiing them in rocks and on conditions that are shitty. And yeah, clearly, um, you know, we always try to look for a little soft snow when we're skiing a wider ski. But if there's not decent soft snow, and today there is at the Quay, there's lots of nice soft snow. It's just that, you know, you intersect on these groomers, and I know that I in particular talk about how great these skis are on groom, but it's always with that asterisk caveat or whatever you want to say, it is that we ski on slightly lifted bindings. In this case, the knee binding, which is spectacular binding uh, in, in our opinion. Um, and, but keep this in mind, any ski test you're looking at, always, always, you're really reading about a ski that's lifted. Because when you put a track under a binding to adjust it in order for testers to try the ski, you're elevated. So everything that you read is all not flat to deck. So if you read about, you know, 100 plus underfoot, and the people are saying X, Y, Z, and then you go buy one, slap a look pivot 15 on there, go flat, flat to deck, you're not gonna have the same feeling. So you always have to take these ski tests with a grain of salt. Like, you know, this ski's awesome because I'm elevated and I can rip it around and I can tilt it on edge because it's so wide, but I, you know, leverage point allows me to put the ski on edge. But if you take this ski and you go put yourself an attack 13 on there and attack 14 and you just flat to deck, no, it's not gonna ski well on groomers. It's just, you got to put the picnic table on edge every single time. So always keep that in mind. And, you know, I, we, we, like in this case here, the ZX-15, we talk about how great it is on groomers because we're skiing it with the appropriate binding that allows it to be a little bit more versatile a ski rather than just skiing it flak to deck. It's only a powder ski. Yeah, you might be able to put it on edge and it'll perform okay. But the reason why this ski is so exceptional on groomers for us is because we've put it on a lifter or a lifted binding in this case, and it allows the ski to come on edge a little easier. And guys like me, you know, with shorter legs, well, we're able to put the ski on edge. If you're six foot five, not an issue. You've got a huge lever. But if you're short, lifting yourself off the ski allows you to kind of roll that wider ski on edge a bit. And so that's, you know, the, the asterisk I wanted to add in regards to this ski ski's awesome on groomed snow, because clearly you roll it on edge and you try to, it, da, 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 you know, it doesn't really want to do that. But if you kind of fool around with, with your specification, how you put the binding on, you can make this ski a little bit more versatile. Mm -hmm.